Hi guys, I'm doing the reading for Aquarius for uh, April 2019. All right, if you like a personal reading, please contact me at queenofsourcedivination.com. And uh, please hit like, share, and subscribe because I definitely need more subscribers. All right, let's do Aquarius. As you may know, I'm an Aquarius, so I love Aquarius. I actually, I've never dated an Aquarius, but I would love to try to date an Aquarius. My father's an Aquarius, and he's definitely a very interesting man. All right, let's get down to business. One shuffle, past energy, present energy, future energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. All right, Aquarius. <clears throat> Let's see. Six of Swords in the upright. In the past, you might have uh, you might have moved away from somebody, or somebody might have moved away from you. Definitely, air energy here, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra. The reason why is you came to a decision about this person or this person came to a decision about you. Uh, you guys could have been in some type of stalemate at one point. However, you came out of it and um, you decided you, you made a decision about this person. Uh, with the King of Swords here, which is the Aquarius card, could be dealing with uh, another air sign. Like I said, these are all swords. Um, with the King of Swords here, it's actually the Aquarius card because this is a fixed sign. So kings in the tarot are fixed. Uh, you decided to cut this person off or kind of being like no bullshit type of attitude towards them. All right. Or this could be them towards you. Um, calculating. Cunning. Smart. But not coming from a bad place, actually, with the King of Swords in the upright. Present moment, you have the King of Wands in the reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign or a fire sign could be involved in the situation. Uh, this person um, could be very charming. Um, however, they're not making a move at this time or you decided not to make a move towards this person. So, um, in the upright, this king knows what he wants and goes after it very creatively. In the reverse, I'm reading this card as, um, not making, not making a choice at this moment or not moving towards anything at this moment. However, you have the wish card here with the nine of cups. Uh, a wish is going to come true for the person that you're dealing with or a person or, or you yourself. Um, there's a lot of drinking in this card this person could have some type of addiction problem or you might have some trouble with your addictions at this time um, however the, the ship is sailing towards the ten of cups uh, so you're going to get some type of good news uh, Aquarius or the person that you're dealing with the chariot in the upright, you could be dealing with a cancer or somebody with cancer in their chart. There's movement in the situation forward from your part or their part. Knight of Wands. <clears throat> you or this person have a lot of passion towards each other. Uh, this person's coming towards you, uh, trying to connect with you on a physical level or you are. Um, however, you or this person... Could be experiencing some trouble with their money at this time because uh we have the ten of pentacles in the reverse here okay um you or this person is then going to try to move on to calmer water so there's a move here coming up for you or the person that you're dealing with you could have been switching houses or this person can can be switching houses or looking to switch houses the reason why is the ten of cups in reverse they have they don't have emotionally emotional fulfillment in their life at this time or you don't or you feel like this okay that's kind of like just the overall but let's go ahead and clarify okay we'll clarify uh, some cards for Aquarius if you would like a personal reading you have to book through the website okay the Six of Swords, it's clarified by the Three of Wands in reverse. You moved away from this person or this person moved away from you because they gave up on the situation and were not waiting or having any expectations about it. Um, maybe you did in the past kind of wait around or they waited around or they wanted to see what you were up to. 
How are you just like, fuck it, or this person was like, fuck it, I give up, I'm not waiting for shit anymore, let's move on. Two of swords in reverse, let's clarify the two of swords in reverse, for Aquarius. The six of swords in reverse, you made a decision that, uh, you, you came out of, you came out, you made a decision about this because there was kind of like a lack of movement in this situation, so you came to a decision about it or the person that you were dealing with did with the six of swords in reverse let's clarify who is the king of swords for aquarius again that is an aquarius card but we can see if there's somebody else who is the king of swords the seven of swords this could be somebody that uh was a little bit sneaky in the past um or maybe they lied to you or you lied to them okay let's clarify this again why is the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords here? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh, you might have heard this person, Aquarius. Um, since swords are words, you could have been really cutthroat to this person. Or um, just really ruthless, okay? But they're coming out of this energy. Or this could be the other person, okay? Why is the King of Wands in the reverse? The Chariot. Uh, it's somebody that's moving towards you. However, this person that's moving towards you is doesn't have... I don't think they have a real direction of what the hell they're doing, okay? But they're coming towards you, Aquarius. Or you towards them. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Aquarius? The shadow side in the reverse. This person might have had some type of crazy awakening. Or you... And then realized, like, oh, shit. This is my wish fulfillment. So you could have been, like... Uh, in a very stagnant situation and uh, decided, okay, what is it that's going to that's gonna bring happiness to my life? Uh, what's going to bring me that nine of cups, ten of cups um, for fulfillment? And uh, you might have had like a very strange, uh, maybe a rude awakening, okay, about the situation. Like something could have slapped you in the face or this person in the face and you're like, damn, I had this shit right in front of me all along kind of and uh as i was meditating on the aquarius energy like this song keep coming to my head it's like stay with me or something by rihanna i don't know you might want to look into that all right let's look let's clarify the chariot the moon you definitely could be dealing with a cancer here or somebody with cancer in their chart um this person's coming towards you in a very sly way they're hiding behind something okay something's hidden here what's hidden why is the moon here? The two of wands. This person or you could have two, one or two people that you're kind of thinking about. And uh, you need to make a decision of, or you have come to the decision or the person that you are dealing with has come to the decision to move towards you. But they had more than one person or you had more than one person. Okay. The Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. The Six of Cups. This Knight of Wands is somebody that you know from your past. This is a soulmate card. Uh, could be somebody that you known from in a past life as well with the Six of Cups. This situation also involves children with the Six of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius. The Three of Pentacles. Uh, this person... This is just like the Libra reading. Oh, okay. This person is lacking, lacking financially, lacking stability, lacking a lot. They're tired of feeling like they could be doing something better with their time and they're not fulfilled in life. Okay. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. They're definitely depressed, could be drinking, and they're definitely writing something. Okay. Let's go with the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. The Page of Cups. Okay, so uh, there's going to be a small apology or something that fails to come true. Or some somebody is coming at you very maturely at this time. So you're deciding or, this per or you're coming at them very maturely at this time. And you're deciding to move away from the situation for now. Because that's not what you want. You're tired of playing games. All right, Aquarius. Let's just pull out one. No. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse for Aquarius. The star. 
this is your car card aquarius uh also with the star this whole situation has been written in the stars and um i feel like this person is looking at you from afar like damn oh shit yes oh my god that's creepy the star came out again all right so here's the star twice and then here's this ten of cups it's sandwiched in between the star so this person knows that you're there with wish fulfillment okay aquarius this is not this is not vice versa you are going to bring uh emotional emotional um fulfillment to this person or they see you as their ten of cups okay you might want to research this card ten of cups if you don't know anything about it but the ten of cups is emotional fulfillment it's happy life happy wife a home okay this person's like lacking stability lacking a home like they're home they're like homesick or something and they see you aquarius as their home all right okay uh one oracle card for aquarius you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Okay, so you definitely should kind of detox your life a bit, okay? Um, maybe you had a lot of toxicity and a lot of shit going on. That may be why you might walk away from this person for a while because they seem they're just like playing a lot of games, okay? Kind of toxic when you do that too much, you know what I mean? All right, Aquarius, I love you guys and good luck. You probably will need it. Bye.